What's up everybody, super quick tutorial today, which is how to color grade your camera for live streaming with OBS. Basically, I showed you on Periscope and Facebook Live the other day, my brand new live streaming setup. And one of the comments I got back or the questions that everyone kept on asking was how the color quality of my camera in that broadcast was so good. And it's because I color grade it live in OBS. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Firstly, let me open OBS and show you the difference between the graded and the ungraded uh, shot. So here we have the graded version. If I just open up the camera filter here, you'll see I'm, I'm applying a lot and I'll make more sense of that in a second. But if I turn this layer on and off, you'll see the difference. So that's the original shot coming out of the camera right now. And then here is with the color grade applied. Look at the difference between the two, massive. So. Let me show you how to how to make this, how to make this LUT. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually take a screenshot in OBS of the ungraded shot, because I'm then gonna use that in Photoshop to grade it how I want it to look. So just do Command, Shift, and four. Then do roughly drag the area so that we're of the, of the shot. And then when you release your finger, that's when the screenshot will be taken. So pose. There's the screenshot. We can now completely close uh, OBS, exit out of that, and we're gonna do all our work in Photoshop now. So file, open, and we'll grab that screenshot. There it is. So now, uh, the main area that we, let's make that a little small, uh, a little bigger, and just make the, there we go. The main area that we actually wanna concentrate on is up here at the top where it says layer, and we're gonna be working with these new adjustment layers. We're gonna use a lot of these tools to make the shot look how we want it to look. Then we're gonna save that down as a LUT, and I'll explain what that is later, and import that LUT into, uh, into OBS so that it makes all the cor corrections and the kind of color corrections that we're making in Photoshop and brings them into OBS uh, to apply live over our camera. So the first adjustment layer we're gonna work with is brightness and contrast, and I'm gonna do this super quickly, uh, but obviously you can take more time in adjusting this. So let's just up the brightness slightly to there. That's probably a bit too much. Again, same with the contrast. We'll just pump that up there. You'll see these adjustment layers are being added to the side here. Uh, and we'll just keep on adding a few more of those. I'm not gonna go into loads of details. We can change the levels slightly. So we'll just make the blacks a little bit darker. Actually, it's probably a bit too much. Again with the white. And then, yeah, that's nice there. Uh, and we'll up the, the vibrance as well. So if we go to, we can do as much or as little as of these adjustment layers as we want, but quite like a, a vibrant shot there like that. And then why not let's add a little bit of a color filter on there too. So if we go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then uh, we'll just add a photo filter and make it maybe a little more orange. Makes it a little more, doesn't do too much. Anyway, you can adjust, uh, add as many of those adjustment layers as you want. You can uh, do ever so small, small, slight adjustments. It's totally up to you. But once you've got the look and feel that you want, the secret is select all of your adjustment layers and then put them into a group. And if you're using Mac, you can just do Command G or you can right hand click and just say group from layers and it will create uh, a group. Hold on, there we go. It will create a group of your layers. Then what we're gonna do is in OBS, OBS actually has uh, an original LUT that, that is a completely un, uh, untouched LUT, an original uh, LUT. Now to find that, we can open OBS we can go into any video capture, click on filter. Then if we say apply LUT, and we'll call it number two as I've already got one here, and go path, you'll see it'll take you to the uh, to the LUT folder, the preset LUT. So if we wanted to just a black and white look, we could apply this, and there we go, it'd apply a black and white look. This is the original one I'm talking about. And that is, we're gonna create our own LUT based on OBS's original. They've also got, uh, let's isolate the reds, for example, and you can see I've got like a red 
bag in the background behind my arm and it just shows the red. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the path of that original PNG. So it will, it's usually hidden away in the uh, OBS documents, the, the containing folder under plugins, filter, and then LUTs. Um, but you can do a search for it or you can follow the path given here. Um, and you want to find the original PNG. Now I've got it saved in Photoshop already. So if I just bring up Photoshop, go file, open recents and original PNG, we'll open that up. I'm going to close OBS for a second. So that is the original LUT PNG. And all we're going to do is we're going to copy our adjustment group, or we're going to duplicate that group onto the original. And you'll see the difference it makes. So if we show and hide, you can see it makes a, a difference to that LUT. Now all we need to do is save that. So we can just hit save as uh, and make sure it's saved as a PNG file. And we can say test LUT L -N -U -T. Save it as normal. Then we can open up OBS. We can go right hand click on our video device, our video capture device. Uh, and now we can go and find our LUT that we just created from Photoshop. So I saved mine on my desktop. There it is, test LUT. And you can see if I just show you the difference. Yep the LUT is being applied. Now we rushed through that LUT, so it's not a particularly good color grade, but I'll show you my, the one I use right now is, is a little nicer. It's not quite as strong. You can inside OBS also change the opacity of the LUT or the amount, uh, or the amount of the LUT. Um, and that is a super quick and easy way of basically color grading your live shots for Facebook Live, Periscope, whatever live streaming service that you're using for OBS 4 and doing all of that color grading of the camera inside OBS. And it just gives that little extra feel um, and little extra quality, especially within the color for your live stream. So I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, if you did like it, smash the like button. Also leave a comment uh, if you have any issues or you want more explanation, I'll happily help. Just leave a comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.